Sweden's Prime Minister scrambles to sympathize with Muslims amid global outrage. Good news for residents of Qatar as authorities outline plans to expand health centers. It's a blockbuster, no doubt. But could Avatar help in disease research? And finally, Qatar Masters Chess is back this year after an eight-year break. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Sweden's Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson has spoken out after a far-right leader burned a copy of the Holy Quran in Stockholm. In a tweet, the PM said while it was legal, the burning of the Quran was inappropriate and deeply disrespectful. However, he fell short of condemning the protest and did not outline any repercussions for the culprit. The comments come as Muslims around the world launched protests urging action from their governments to respond to the incident. Turkey has already summoned the Swedish ambassador, while various other countries issued statements condemning the act. Here in Qatar, a top health officials said primary health care centers with high numbers will soon be expanded. Minister of Public Health Dr. Hanan Mohammed al kuwari made the comments at Qatar's newest PHCC center in Umm al -Sanim. She said the new center, which boasts 35,000 capacity, is just one of many planned expansions across the Gulf state. Now, you may be surprised to know that Hollywood's super hit movie Avatar might help tackle diseases. According to the BBC, motion capture suits used to bring characters to life in the film are helping researchers track the onset of conditions conditions that impair movement. The system uses artificial intelligence to analyze body movement, with experts in the UK measuring the severity of two genetic disorders twice as quickly as some of the best doctors. And finally, after an eight-year break, the Qatar Masters Chess is returning this year. The tournament will take place in October and will be led by the return of Norwegian chess grandmaster Magnus Carlsen, who gained a playoff win in Qatar in 2015. The total prize fund up for grabs will be $110,000, with each winner from nine rounds taking home $25,000. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.